All the best sitcoms have a Valentine's Day episode, as it's an easy way to highlight a romantic storyline. Today on Rankworthy, we're counting down the top 10 best Valentine's Day episodes in TV sitcom history, as voted on by you, the viewer. Welcome to Rankworthy, the show where we rank just about everything. St. Valentine's Day is the 11th episode of the third season of 30 Rock. The show is based on comedian Tina Fey's time as head writer at Saturday Night Live. In the episode, Fey's Liz Lemon has a bad date with her neighbor Drew, played by John Hamm. Meanwhile, Jack McBrayer's Kenneth and Tracy Morgan's Tracy try to get Kenneth to win the attention of a new employee, Jennifer, played by Maria Thayer. Additionally, Alec Baldwin's Jack has an unconventional Valentine's Day spent at a church with his girlfriend Elisa, played by Salma Hayek. This leads to Jack shocking a priest with a long and detailed confession, with Jack and Elisa then spending their Valentine's Day at McDonald's. Blood Drive is the 18th episode of the fifth season of The Office. The series is a mockumentary about the day-to-day -day lives of the fictional Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. In the episode, Michael, played by Steve Carell, decides to host a party for singles in order to reconnect with a woman he met while giving blood earlier in the day. While some members of the staff find interesting people, Michael still yearns for this mystery woman. Meanwhile, Jim and Pam, played by John Krasinski and Jenna Fisher, go on a double date with Phyllis and Bob, played by Phyllis Smith and Robert R. Schaefer. Creed, played by Creed Branton, leaves the bloodmobile with a bag of blood in his pocket. The one with the birthing video is the 15th episode of the eighth season of Friends. The show revolves around six friends in their 20s living in Manhattan. In this episode, Joey, played by Matt LeBlanc, has to live with his crush Rachel, played by Jennifer Aniston, living with Ross, played by David Schwimmer. Joey even gets a dog named Mozzarella to cheer him up, but that doesn't work. Meanwhile, Chandler, played by Matthew Perry, pops in a videotape expecting an adult film from Monica, played by Courtney Cox, but instead gets a birthing video from Phoebe, played by Lisa Kudrow. Valentine's Day is the 16th episode of the second season of The Office. In the episode, Michael reveals that he's in a relationship with his boss, Jan, played by Melora Hardin, during a meeting at Dunder Mifflin's corporate headquarters in New York. Meanwhile, in Scranton, Phyllis is showered with gifts from Bob, while Angela, played by Angela Kinsey, finds the perfect gift for Dwight, played by Rain Wilson, which is a bobblehead of himself. Also, Pam is hurt by Roy, played by David Denham, who is unenthusiastic about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the 16th episode of the second season of Parks and Recreation. The series follows the Parks Department of Pawnee, a fictional town in Indiana. In the episode, Amy Poehler's Leslie introduces her co-workers to the concept of Galentine's Day, a party for her female friends the day before Valentine's Day. She describes the event as Lilith Fair minus the angst, plus frittatas. Leslie also spends the episode looking for love for her mother, and Andy, played by Chris Pratt, dedicates a song to Aubrey Plaza's April. And in the spirit of Valentine's Day, Tom, played by Aziz Ansari, sues his ex-wife for alimony. I Love Lisa is the 15th episode of the fourth season of The Simpsons, which follows the family of the same name in the fictional town of Springfield, parodying American culture. In the episode, Lisa gives Ralph a Valentine's card when she notices he hasn't received any. Ralph reads too much into this and pursues Lisa relentlessly. Lisa snaps at Ralph and tells him that she never liked him. Ralph channels his heartbreak into his performance as George Washington in the school play. When the audience applauds his performance, Ralph is able to accept Lisa as only a friend. My Funky Valentine is the 15th episode of the first season of Modern Family. The series follows Jay Pritchett and his family as they live in Los Angeles. In the episode, Phil, played by Ty Burrell, and Claire, played by Julie Bowen, meet at a bar to celebrate Valentine's Day and decide to roleplay. While wearing just her coat and nothing underneath, Claire gets stuck on an escalator. Meanwhile, Claire's father, Jay, played by Ed O'Neill, is out on a date with Gloria, played by Sofia Vergara. They happen upon Claire's situation, and Gloria puts her coat over Claire, saving her. Additionally, Mitchell, played by Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and Cameron, played by Eric Stone Street, give Gloria's son Manny, played by Rico Rodriguez, love advice. Three Valentines is the 14th episode of the sixth season of Frasier. The series was a spin-off of Cheers and continued the story of psychiatrist Frasier Crane as he returned to his hometown of Seattle. The episode consists of three storylines. David Hyde Pierce's Niles is preparing for a date and accidentally lights his pants on fire. Kelsey Grammer's Frasier is out to dinner with a marketing manager at his radio station, and he's unaware whether it's a business or romantic dinner. Meanwhile, John Mahoney's Martin and Jane Levy's Daphne are both without dates, so both decide on a platonic Valentine's Day date. The one with the candy hearts was the 14th episode of the first season of Friends. 
The episode sees the group dealing with their exes. Ross and his date end up at the same restaurant as his ex-wife Carol and her new partner Susan. Joey accidentally sets up Chandler on a blind date with Chandler's ex Janice. Meanwhile, Rachel, Monica, and Phoebe use Valentine's Day as a chance to literally burn old flames in a cleansing ritual which includes burning their keepsakes. The fire in the apartment leads to three hunky firemen showing up to join the women. The One with Unagi is the 17th episode of the sixth season of Friends. Unlike the previous entry, this episode doesn't see the group dealing with their exes. Chandler and Monica decide to give each other homemade Valentine's Day gifts, but both forget, leading them to scrambling to find old items to give as gifts. Ross tries to school Rachel and Phoebe on the art of Unagi after the girls take a self-defense class. Lastly, Joey tries to get money for new headshots by participating in a medical study. And on that note, check back next time to find out what else is rank-worthy.